Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Victoria 3. We are going to carry on our game as Grand Columbia and our conquest of Southern America. Now that we've got our economy going very quickly, <laughs> we're going to be attempting to pretty much rapidly take over the rest of this continent. Now, we do probably have to do a few wars in this regard because Bolivia and Brazil and whatnot are so large, I probably can't kill them in one go. So we have to take that into account here. Also, wow, <laughs> I am losing some money. Let's put it that way. Uh, that is quite ridiculous. I probably should try and deal with that first before I do anything else. Because I'm always going to go bankrupt and it's going to be a complete disaster. Okay, let's have a look around the world quickly. Um, I do remember from yesterday that it's just curse in a lot of cases. There is a lot of cursing in this game right now. It's like there's the never-ending Aborigine uprising in Australia. There is the Russian, I don't know what this is really, the border gore of destruction of Africa. And France is just massive. I don't know why France is doing so well, but good for them, I guess. And of course, let's not forget the elephant in the room. What is happening over here? It is disgusting. But anyway, apart from that, uh, we're going to build a bunch of buildings to try and fix our economy quickly before we go into too much debt. Now, we do have a ridiculous amount of buildings being constructed at the same time at this point. What would this be? This would be, I'm going to say 12 buildings are being built per t um, at the same time, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of buildings. Anyway. Now, what do we need as a country first off? If we go to market quickly, let's have a look. So, iron. Big problems of iron. Big problems of coal. Luxury goods aren't doing too well as well. Uh, it's pretty much industrial goods and luxury goods we need to deal with at this point. Uh, what is this? Request to join custom. They want to join my union? No. It would probably be too crazy if I accept that right now. I'll, let's try and focus on our own economy for, for this moment. So, iron. Currently, we need a lot of it, <laughs> but also I'm aware that if I increase the amount of iron, we're also going to need more coal. So both ways, we're going to need a lot of everything. Let us try how much infrastructure we got here. We're going to need a lot of infrastructure. So we're going to build four railways, and then we're going to build a bunch of iron mines, coal mines, iron mines, Coal mines. <laughs> we are going heavy for the future, everybody. We're going to have loads of stuff here. So this is going to be three times the capacity we've got right now. So it would go up to, I don't know, 2,100 iron. And this should equally also go up to a lot more um, coal as well. Now, the problem with this is probably going to be it's going to absolutely destroy my tool manufactories, which we've got to deal with as well. So I'm also going to build another tool manufactory somewhere. Uh, oh, this space is pretty nice. Let's build one here. Yeah, they've got loads of room. Let's build one railway here and we'll build another 10, where is it, tool manufactories. And of course, after this, we're going to need more stuff. <laughs> Damn it, game. This is a never ending uh, cycle of destruction, everybody. Done. Sorted. We'll let that build through. France is now embargoing Russia. Good for them. So are we currently at peace with Peru anyway? Wait, no, it's not. It's Bolivia now. I forgot. I killed the Peru part, so they became Bolivia. So let's have a look quickly. Uh, interactions, diplomacy. They still have an alliance with France, which is the only reason I got around it last time is because I attacked Ecuador and we kind of cheated <laughs> with a proxy war. Though it does kind of mean that we're, we're going to struggle to attack anybody else here. We probably need a navy to bypass to get to Chile and Argentina. Or maybe we just start going for... Oh, <laughs> wow. Brazil has an alliance with not only England, but also America. That's that's annoying. Maybe we should actually invite them to... We could do this. No, 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 no. We'll leave it be for now. Raphael has plus 50 popularity. Who is Raphael? He's a boffin. Okay, we'll go for it. We'll take it. Thank you, game. I guess maybe the next step then is going to be to try and expand elsewhere. So we also have the, the nation of Mexico, which we can actually attack right now. And their military is a lot weaker than mine. But do they have alliances? They have a defensive pact with the Netherlands, which is pretty random. <laughs> um, and a customs union with Russia. What is happening in this game, everybody? Is <laughs> Wait a minute. How is that happening? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to get to the, um, let's have a look, markets. What is happening? We've got the Italian market of Cuba. And Russian market of Mexico. Oh, uh, it's this, it's the British market of Brazil. Ah, oh, they joined Brazil? Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
Graduated taxation. We haven't unlocked a new taxation in a long time. Is it better than my current one? Graduated. Oh, this is, um... Oh, this is like the rich suffer. I'd rather have a proportional one, personally. I don't really see the point of making... Yeah, I lose money. That's not working out for me. This one would be amazing. We need this one. Plus 26k income. That looks good to me. Who would pass this through? Oh, oh no. Not the industrialists, unfortunately. Better power uh, cars. Nice. Okay, calm down. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. And the Scottish are arriving. Nice. Okay, so I think we should... Let's focus on Mexico, though. But first, we probably should try and deal with this massive deficit. So, I'm going to... Probably... Hmm. I was going to say, I could probably do some more consumption taxes. But we haven't got a lot of authority, unfortunately. I could do luxury furniture. Or coffee. Let's do coffee. And I might also increase the general taxation a little bit as well. So we're back down to negative 2,000. That's not that bad, really. Uh, we could probably fix this, actually, if we just get more um, admin buildings. Which I don't think we got queued up anywhere. No, we haven't. Uh, let's increase that, then. Let's put this up by 5. Because we also need to get... I think, it was it 1,000 we need to get to make the Panama Canal? So we need to get a lot of it anyway. I was, I was going to say, where's it all going? But I think my population is rising so quickly now. <laughs> Look at, look at that graph. Um, it's just, I need to permanently be pumping out guys that do paperwork. Because we just have an insane amount of um, just everything, really. How are we doing paper, by the way? Paper's fine. Okay. Regardless, though, we should be able to fix the problems with costing soon anyway. Because we're about to start the massive increase in... Oops, sorry, I just whacked the mic there. Uh, increase in iron and coal, which are both industrial goods. What is this? Interesting. Um, well, regardless, I can I give some guys some popularity. Who I guess he's the leader of the rural folk, right? Let's go for this one. I don't want them to be that popular. But then again, I probably should be trying to focus a little bit on grabbing... Ah, we should probably add these guys in. We'll knock out the armed forces. Because these guys... The trade unionists want to change the tax law, right? We can try it. We can give it a shot. Do it as a slow burner. If we can pass this through, I make loads of money. Which it probably it probably means that it's going to also unfairly affect my economy because people are poorer. Because like, look at this tax rate; it's ridiculous. What's it on? So, uh, oh, you get rid of land tax and per capita, but it just goes to income tax and something tax and dividends. Well, we'll try anyway. <laughs> I have a big nation. I need a lot of money to farm my big nation. That's what I'm going to go with there. Okay, we need to get these guys up and running. Oh, we've already built four iron mines. It's crazy how fast we're building these buildings now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Nice. We're already fixing some stuff over there. Though coal is getting absolutely absurd with the costing of coal. This is why I kind of built them ten at a time. Because uh, it's not going to be too lopsided one way or another. But I'm surprised by because it, it's crazy. The amount of people that are living here now is insane. Like, how many people live here? 2.5 million. As many people live here as in my capital region, which is pretty crazy. Have you noticed, by the way, that I think the backdrops change based on, um, like, what's built here? But I'm not exactly sure, actually. We'll have to keep an eye on, like, different regions over time and see if they change the backdrop. Dixie people. These are the Americans, right? So we're also getting the Americans move over here as well. <laughs> oh my. Look at this pop growth. It's insane. Uh, we could just win the game by just emptying the world of all population at this point. It's like, there's no one left, sir. Everyone's left every country apart from yours. <laughs> we're the only survivor. Okay. Oh, it's not good. We're nearly a million pounds in debt. Oh, no. <laughs> It's fine, everybody. It's fine. We're soldier through. We are spending a lot of money on everything at this point, though. Uh, it's, uh, it's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. Let's reduce the wages of other people as well. 
Oh, we lost migration attraction. We probably want to keep that, actually, because we got more population. <laughs> Screw it, I'll put it back. <laughs> I think it should go down shortly. I know it's not looking good at the moment, but when we fix, like, the industrial goods like coal and stuff, it should fix all the other prices in all the other industries. Hopefully. Probably. And luckily, we're building a lot of it at the same time, so... We will get there soon. I think we're actually, at this point, we're half the GDP of England, aren't we? No, England's actually been growing a... Oh, actually, they haven't been growing too much. They must have lost something big a uh, while ago. Look at that giant deficit. <laughs> what, what happened there? <laughs> something horrible happened. Oh! I think that was like a few episodes ago when they had like a giant revolt from a Republican uh, like um, coup they, they tried to push off. I think I remember that happening. Regardless, though, we are getting very close to becoming a uh, great power. How far away are we? Oh, it tells me somewhere, doesn't it? I think it's in information. I need 670 prestige to become a great power, which would be really cool if we could try and do that this episode. We give it our best shot. I mean, to be fair, with the rate of our increase in economy, we should be able to do that quite easily, I think. Um, but I just have to wait and see a little bit. This mine is absolutely crazy. Get more workers, guys. Get more workers. Okay, so military-wise, how are we doing? So we got 60,000 battalions now. I think we can easily just gonna attack um, Mexico at this point. What do we want, though? So we've already now secured our own sources of iron. So that's not no longer a big issue. Should we just take over land to actually make sense? Like, we take over this place first, and we'll probably try and take over these two regions as well. Oh! I changed my mind. <laughs> I can't attack Mexico because Russia would kill me. This is the same problem that America's been facing. We probably should have... We're probably going to wait them. Yeah, we'll wait until the truce runs out. Can I do strategic regions? No, we're going to wait a little bit because we can't fight them. We're going to lose. We can't fight Bolivia because we've got a truce. And we can't fight Brazil. Oh, we can make an alliance with them though. Let's do this temporarily again. So that if we do get into a war with Mexico, we at least get Brazil to help us. Wow, look at this. It's getting so bad. We need to... Guys, 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 guys. We need these admin centers now. <laughs> the pop growth is so high. We need to we need to deal with the tax loss. So I never actually explained it in the game, by the way. There is actually a what is this? Temporary tax loss for two years, but you get a higher chance of passing a new tax law. But take it. Oh no! <laughs> Look at that deficit. It's really bad. Um yeah, so in a region, it doesn't really affect, I'm going to say, most of the world because it's not normally a problem. But if you actually haven't got enough tax capacity, you won't tax people. So, like, you can see here, I got, like, what, 2.5 many people live here? 2.8 now, sorry. It keeps going up every five seconds. Uh, and I'm using 281 tax capacity out of 379. Now, that's, like, crazy, right? I'm like, oh, you can't have more than a few many people in a place. Well, if you live in India, you can. <laughs> so for a lot of the game, in, if you play as an Indian state, you're actually going to have issues with tax collection. Like this place has 15 million people live in this region in Punjab. That's insane. And they are nowhere near the tax capacity. They're losing 85% of tax in this state. That is crazy. I have played over that region and I don't know how on earth to fix that because I kept building uh, bureaucratic stations. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The cost of the workers was more than the reduction of the uh, increase in tax capacity. So it was like, how do I fix this? <laughs> it's just doomed. Maybe it's a technology thing later in the game, but um, let they get pull more efficient, maybe. But who knows? Anyway, so at least for two years, we're going to have a massive issue with our income because I've, well, you saw what I just did. I've reduced tax income by 10%, which has caused a large issue, to say the least. Uh, hopefully, these admin buildings will help us. Please help us. This is going to be a massive increase in admin capacity. Come on, guys. You need to save us. To be fair, wait. That's, I don't think it's going to give us enough capacity. Um, I think we need more. 
This is ridiculous. We, <laughs> we should probably build some more in here anyway. I'll queue some up. We probably also want another paper mill. Yeah, screw it. For one of those as well. So that didn't work, right? It's filled up right now. Wow. We didn't... <laughs> We need more, everybody. We... I can't believe this. We need... Yankees! That's another American population. Join me, America. Join me. How is their population right now? <laughs> it's just going down. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry, guys. The funniest thing about this situation, though, is that they're actually better off living in America than they are living in my country, which is absolutely mad. <laughs> I should just stay over there. I'm going to move to Grand Columbia. It's worse, but it's better. Oh, actually, we, oh, we built, oh, nice. We've built the um, Arts Academy. This is a very, very, very high tier need. So people have art needs when they get to wealth level 30 to 99. I, it's, it's interesting because normally it doesn't do anything because people aren't ri at rich. But I guess I got some very, very rich people in my country right now. So we're probably spun out at some point as well. We're probably the biggest... But yeah, just having one building of art shows you how crazy this building is. Because I'm the fourth producer in the world. How crazy is that? I mean, like, no one builds this building. <laughs> you get 60 prestige if you make the most art? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, we queued up anyway. It, it will come through. That's amazing. Okay, so we're going to build all this stuff. As we kind of discussed earlier, we are kind of stuck in where to expand because the enemies, the enemies, there's too, there's too many enemies at this point. <laughs> we need to figure out where to expand to. I feel like having a navy and invading Chile would be the best part. I've never actually built a navy in this. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been playing this for like 60 hours at this point. I haven't built a navy yet. I'm like, oh, it doesn't span my own region. So, it's time to look at a navy. How does this work? Well, we probably should fix it. We're fixing the income anyway. It's fine. So, navies, navies. You build a naval base, kind of like you do with a barracks. And it, like, makes a unit, I think. Let's quickly build one and see what happens. So, it looks like we've got a bunch of options. So, we got, what are these? Power of purse. Oh, it increases damage and stuff. Well, we'll go for the best one, clearly. Commerce raiders or torpedo boats. I feel like torpedo boats would be amazing. Oh, what's this? <gasps> yes! That didn't... Oh, there you go. I was going to say it. it was a bit delayed. I was like, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. So we're now making money, right? Perfect. That means I can buy it, build a navy. So... Looks like on this one you can choose between having offense and defense with more convoy raiding. That sounds like a good idea if I'm like trying to be a guerrilla warfare kind of guy, but I'm not sure. And I can I can also have oh this increases maximum declared interests. Interesting. Oh, we just unlocked industrial ports, which is going to be a big increase for us, I think. Um, We'll do that later. Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like let's make some ironclad, shall we? Now, what is the scale of navies? Because I have no idea. Let's have a look. Um, they have no navy. They have 50 navies. Um, 10. 1, 4. Let's go for 20. I think if we're fighting the uh, Chilean stuff. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can. <laughs> Is that have they got the biggest navy in the world? Now, France, France, it's meant to be England's time to shine. France, why are you showing them up all the time? Unacceptable. This is awful. My country is being belittled by the French power. It's fine. Uh, so I am going to build twenty naval bases. How much is this going to cost me, by the way? Because I have no idea. Uh, ironclad. We probably should go for the torpedo boats. Oh, oh, wait, it gives you plus 20 offense. Yeah, we'll take it. Sorry, I thought it was going to be like a trade-off kind of thing. Okay. We're going for 20 of these. Now, how much is that going to cost me? Because I have no idea at the moment. It's going to cost ammunition of some description and ironclads of some description. And this is going to cost ammunition only, and that's going to cost nothing. Okay, so let's make a shipyard here, specifically for this very reason. 
and we're going to make them make extensive ship buildings. It creates ironclads and steamers. We'll go for that. We are getting continual people living over here now. It is insane. Uh, how are we doing, by the way, with general goods? Are we fixing the issues there? <laughs> that of iron we have. Too much iron. Yes. At this point as well, I think we've got to try and move into having some good alliances. So I'm still too weak for America to join. Oh! Are they doing it? They're attacking. I wish I knew. I could have helped you. I could have helped you. Also, I just realized, despite the sheer amount of railways I built, we still have a massive issue with infrastructure. <laughs> I built too much. I built too much. Um, let's build another four. We want to fix this immediately. No, do we? It'd be fine. We're not going to worry about it. Conquer State. It's too risky. If I go in, I really wish that they added me to... I, uh, where am I declared in dress? I think they're in the Caribbean. Also, I'm not sure if who's fighting who at this point is... Who's attacking? So, America's trying to get back their territory, but they keep getting just, just destroyed by random nations. Scandinavia? Wasn't even meant to be involved. <laughs> so I don't care. They're not even meant to be there. Damn it. So, we've lost a chance to attack that, unfortunately. Oh, is that my field? We've lost some gold fields, which is fine, because we can replace it with the this version instead. You get diesel pumps at some point. It's a... Uh, oh. The Swedish are coming. I'm getting an insane amount of people move over to my country right now. Oh, we've lost investment happiness, which has massively affected our investment pool. Game, can we calm down, please? <laughs> the game's just going into overdrive mode. We are. <laughs> What's this? Uh, the social ideas sweeping across Grand Columbia. Raphael has been appointed to the leading position of government. He has. I didn't do that. Fair enough. So it looks like we want to bring in one of these laws, right? Oh, this affects what kind of things he wants to do. Oh. Um, so we've unlocked compulsory schools, which is not an option I see here. What's up with that? Protective speech, worker protection, and old age pension. I, I want to do, let's go for what rights in the hopes that it means old age pensions. Because that's the one I want to deal with, so. Oh, it just passed it. Oh, well, that's not that bad. Regulatory borrowers provide workspace safety office with 20% dangerous work conditions reduction. I'll take it. But it's also annoyed. It's now it's just annoyed the... Um, it's just annoyed the industrialists. Damn it. I do really want all these pensions. But we can't because it's going to annoy the... Industrialists a bit too much. There's a lot of new things we can do now, though. Oh, I don't like... I don't, I'm not a fan of... I'd rather people just be rich and have a minimum wages. Uh, we'll keep this one. I want to go for this. I want to get compulsory primary school education. Industrialist, why are you being so annoying? <laughs> what is your problem, guys? Um, oh, we can pass this. No migration controls, which we effectively had none anyway, to bring the industrialist back into grace here. Let's go for that. That annoyed a lot of people. That <laughs> that caused some issues, to say the least, right there. That, that was a bit of a problem there. By the way, can I... I know we got a negative modifier for two years on taxation. When does that run out? Because I would love to know. Automobile production. Awesome. Chainsaws! <laughs> Why is our tech... Cr I, I'm sorry, bro, I haven't... We're playing on speed 4, right? Here we are. The game's just, like, going crazy right now. <laughs> it's just doing everything. I am going to go for these two. This actually allows me to synthesize um, the one resource we don't make ourselves, which is silk. 
The game is going a bit crazy though with the amount of stuff going on. It's because of this again, isn't it? Oh, guys, stop being crazy. Do you know what? I changed my mind. We are going to go and find the next level of bureaucratic upgrades. We need it. We're screwed. I can't keep up with the amount of things we can do. It's ridiculous. It's in, it just keeps happening. I can't hold him back. We're now losing 20% of taxation. Oh, it's, it's becoming a full-time job just to survive at this point. Oh, we can now attack Brazil, um, Bolivia, but we can't because France will kill us. Damn it. Okay, we're doing good. We are building these buildings, guys. We need to deal with this. <laughs> How much are we generating now? We're generating 3.5k. Oh, wow. That is a... Uh, <clears throat> that's a lot of paper pu uh, pencil pushing, everybody. How many people are actually employed in this industry right now? I'm kind of curious. Uh, urban... Da -ba -ba -ba. 50... Well, it's going to be... Yeah, I'll say 54,000. What? Scandinavia now has a treaty port. What is happening? <laughs> it's cursed. It's weird because America keeps losing the wars, but every time I look at the wars, they're winning the wars. So I don't, they need an ally really. They need me to help them. We need to do it together. We need to join up, we need to team up, we need to take on the enemy. Okay, despite that massive increase in bureaucratic buildings, guess what everybody? We need more. So I need to find another place we can build another like... Let's build some there. Let's build some here. Oh, they're already there. My bad. Do we want some here? Put some there. We're going to go full bang, everybody. We're going to build loads. It's going to probably cost a lot of money, but then we're going to just also smash out this Panama Canal as well. Which I presume will massively increase my prestige. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset and cry. Ah! It's run out! I'm pretty sure... Oh! 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 Look at that, everybody! The beauty! of the income right now is amazing. I love it. Also, we got to check. We've got to... <laughs> okay, I... guys, calm down. <laughs> it keeps going up. Okay, we need to do a lot of things here. Do we still not have enough railways? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to put you guys over to regular cargo prioritization. Um, let's think about this for a second. So we have the naval yards. They've all been constructed. It's probably going to increase my... We need... How much do we need? We need... I actually can't tell. 60 ammunition and 40 ironclads. I have no idea how much is going to be made from this. So we'll have to find out in a second. But at least this means that we can probably declare interests in, like, uh, Central America. And if we get enough, maybe somewhere else and we can invade to get more territory. I mean, this place is pretty juicy. Maybe we can take over Japan. If I can't... Well, let's do, let's do Chile and Argentina first. We'll take over all our targets we can actually get to. Then we're looking to going abroad somewhere else. Also, because I have no idea how navies work, we're going to have to just learn by doing everybody. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, looks like we need more... Of these. Foreign competition. Ah, oh, I lose the chance? No. It's fine. To be fair, I'm only doing this law to increase industrialist approval of me so I can get their money. So, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Okay, so what we're building now anyway. Uh, more of these. Okay, so we're going to spend a lot of money on other stuff. Let's go and look into fixing economy issues. So next one's going to be quite obvious, I think. We're going to try and deal with the tobacco and luxury good issues. So where do we have a lot of people? Here. Build one of these, and we're going to just build 20 tobacco. Yes, that's a lot, but we have a big nation at this point. Also... In my capital city, look at these giant whatever mines we have now. 
My capital, my capital region. We still have a lot left over here, so we are going to increase first off two railways, and also we're going to go for massive increase in luxury production. So right now we make. We could probably do another five. Let's do another five of these. And we will do another five of the other one. Wait, wrong, wrong place, my bad. <laughs> another five of those. We actually make way too much furniture. <laughs> there's just too much, sir. I go to the store and there's just like 50 d desks. They're all over the place. To be fair, it's going to be a bit naughty. I can reduce... We'll leave it, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. It's fine. Okay, so that's going to fix those. We also need to do the glass one as well, don't we? So let's also push that up. That should hopefully fix our luxuries at this point. What else have we got problems with? Munitions, which we are going to expand by free. This should be fine. Oh, wait, maybe it won't be fine. We need more lead. Let's increase that by five. That's fine. Okay, so those are sorted. Dyes. We need more dyes for the die gods. Uh, do we have a place to increase dye production? Yes, we do. Do that by 10. That should be fine. Done. What's next? Ironclads should be okay. We still need more coal and groceries. Coal and groceries. Uh, let's have a look at that. Let's increase this to the 10. And coal... We're going to need to set up a new mine somewhere else. Let's put it here. This place is pretty nice. Let's go for this location. We'll build flat out 20 mines over here. And that's probably also going to include an issue with tooling. So we're also going to bring... Oh, nice. It's already here. Done. Like well, I said, very bro... Everybody. Everybody. Wait. Stop. We are a great power in the world of Victoria Free, everybody. We've done it. We now have, we are now the sixth most powerful nation in the entire world. Grand Columbia is truly grand in this case, we're going to say. Now, you can see there is a little bit of a difference between where I'm at and where, say, Russia is at compared to, apparently, the world dominating France. Um, as an Englishman, this must be stopped at some point. <laughs> How dare they? It's meant to be my country in the limelight. I wouldn't mind if England was in charge, but not France. Anybody but France. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, or am I? Who knows? So, uh, let's see. I probably make it easier to make alliances now. Work safety. So what is this actually? I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it's obvious what it does, but I'm just going to... Okay, <laughs> that was all we did, fair enough. Do you know what, everybody? When this is finished, we should actually be able to afford... We should actually be able to afford the Panama Canal. I've never done this before. I'm actually kind of excited. Um, let's see, where is it? Journal, decisions. Should we just start it now? Screw it. Start it now. Go! Panama survey. Await the completion of 30 month survey. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> we'll wait. It's fine, game. Don't worry about it. Okay, assignment will come, come later. It's fine. Um, low mark access in this region here. It needs more. Railways. Declared interest. Okay, we're going to clear an interest in just America. How many can I do? I can do another two. Let's just do two here to make sure that we definitely are interested in the American war when it happens next time. We can join them on their side. That's the plan. Okay, also, apart from that, do I have maybe a little bit more? 0 0.49 from naval base. Which is only half done. So we should get an extra one. And we're going to clear an interest somewhere in the world we're going to go and invade. I think that's gonna be pretty fun. We should probably also make a oh hire an admiral. We should be fun. Let's have a look. So what do we got? We have a buffer and we got a uh, we got a farmer. So that's an opium addicts. That's a good start. Persistent. He's pretty. He's got a lot of good trick. We're going for this guy. Foreign faiths. I accept whatever gets me the law pass. Thank you. So we got the foreign faiths. 
How many ships can he use? Five. Oh no, he can, uh, Commodores can use 20 flotillas, which is exactly how many I'm building, so perfect. So we can do patrol coasts, raid convoys, naval invasions, or escorts. Interesting. Okay, looks good to me. I think this is taking a long time, by the way, because I'm pretty sure the training rate of these is a business. Like, it only trains 80 a week. That is going to take a long time <laughs> to fill in, everybody. It's going to be a bit of a trek there. Things are going really well. We haven't attacked anybody, but I mean, it's going pretty well apart from that. I want to attack somebody. I want to go for one of these guys. So this is going to be good for our general resources, such as um, like the, the mining goods, because this space is very mountainous. Both of them are. Both of them have a lot of mountains, so they're going to have a lot of coal, a lot of iron, a lot of sulfur, that kind of thing. I probably should wait a little bit longer because I remember if I'm going to fight both at the same time. I think it was both, right? Yeah, Chile and Bolivia. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. It brings in Bolivia. This is perfect. So we're bringing Bolivia and we're trying to take over the coastline if we can. Oh, that's going to be too much though, isn't it? Well, let's do it. What can possibly go wrong? Where are my armies? Um, so this guy probably has an issue with command, right? Let's probably into a higher rank. So now he has 48,000 men. Mobilize. We still have some men left over, right? 12,000. So we will put them into a secondary squad. Run by... Uh, this, he's brave. I don't, <laughs> Ignacio. Excellent. I definitely didn't say that incorrectly. Perfect. So we'll have Ignacio be the second dude with his little navy, uh, army there. Mobilize as well. I want to do a naval invasion. Am I alone with that? Hopefully not everybody. So uh, let's actually bring in some additional stuff I want to do. So I want to conquer states. Not this one. We want to probably want to go for these. Let's try and clip our borders a little bit, shall we? So we're going to go for... This one. We definitely want this one. And we want the rest of the Amazon as well. I still have 56 maneuvers left. So, so far we're going to grab all this land here. Next up, if we can get... I, I, what are these names? Isa. We'll go for Isa. Okay, go for that. And I think I've run out. I've got 31 left. This is, this is a massive war. Is this going to massively cause it? Oh, <laughs> I've never caused them. I've made a mistake, everybody. I've made a mistake. Everyone hates me now. We'll leave it at that for now. Because I feel like me doing that is probably going to cause people to come and try and murder me. Because I've just done a madness. I've just incurred a lot of neg- Oh, no! I think I just tanked my relationship with everybody by being so infamous. I I've gone too far. Let's just hope that no one joins this war, right? Let's just hope that it's okay. Um, let's also improve relations with only England, really, I can afford at this point. So can I set up a naval invasion now? Maybe I have to wait for the war to start. Yeah, not a war. Okay. Also, when did this happen? Damn. Uh, put taxes back down to normal. Remove coffee if we can. We are back to a low tax society, which is very exciting for us. Our massive reforms on luxuries has probably started now, which is pretty nice. We've got too many troops that... We've got so many troops that are not even all in a... a thing. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, we need oil. To be fair, we have oil. We, we've built some... Um, we can probably... Do oh, we haven't got any automobiles, but... Automobiles sell for £100 on a base rate? That's crazy. 
We definitely want automobiles though. How do we how do we do that? Okay. The massive conquest has begun. We're gonna grab a lot of land here. I wanna see a naval invasion. Okay, naval invasion. We're gonna go and invade down. We can invade here. So invasion fleet will be intercepted by a fleet of three ships. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm quite interested to see what happens, I guess. Okay, so the wars are going to start already. We're we'll just letting them do their own thing. The difference in power now is quite vast, so we're looking pretty good there. How do I know how this works? Ah, prepare forces. 44 days. Okay. Oh, we're getting shafted. This one. I can't believe how much money we're making right now. It is a bit absurd, isn't it? It is. Do you know what? Something we haven't done, which I said we would do at some point, was the in the university increase. So let's actually queue that up as well. And I think I was going to make a secondary university somewhere else, wasn't I? Let's do one over here. So we need to get our technology up and up to snuff to keep up with everybody else. We've also got some issues with various done. I already had one there, but I'll do two, why not? How's it going guys? We are looking at a fighting off enemy Oh they're they're attacking something. Oh Oh no. <laughs> Can you imagine? This actually happened in the time period, didn't it? Because everyone started making these really advanced ships. You would literally have like pretty much like crazy ironclad modernist ships versus wooden ships. <laughs> it's just doom. They're doomed. Look at this difference in attack power. Absolutely ravaged. Oh, how cool is this? I'm just now in La Pata. I bet they're freaking out. They're like, what's happening? They're, they've come from behind. So what are you what are you guys doing now then? Now they're escorting convoys. Raid convoys? Select a C node. Not a hostile network. I guess there's no options for me to pick here, so never mind. Um, what was the other one? So patrol coast is just kill enemies along the coastline. Escort coast is protect I'll leave it on that, I guess. We probably want to have multiple navies then for different purposes, but we'll do that in the future. Oh, whatever was happening to my income has now stopped. It was probably the investment pool being reduced down again, I would imagine. But at least with tobacco now, I imagine tobacco is under control, right? Where did I build tobacco farms? Yes, they are building... Good thing I built 20, because... Do you know what we've forgotten, everybody? We could have... we got to go through our buildings, because there's a lot of stuff we can change to make it more efficient. Let's do that, shall we? Now, also, I'm pretty sure they can make cars. Awesome. So let's increase the motor industry by quite a bit there. Let's also make another motor industry over here. We'll make five, and we'll make them create cars. So what are cars? Oh, it requires oil. To be fair, let's just hope that our whaling industry can supply this. So what do cars do though? Because I haven't actually built any cars yet. Uh, automobiles, they are used for free movements and also probably a lot of like uh, building stuff as well. Okay, so that's going to help out us in the future. Now, major things we need to do. I guess we can do efficiency upgrades, but I don't think we need to do that really at the moment. What's this? Oh, we split the front. It's fine. We ignore that. It's not a problem. Wow. <laughs> There's a big front down there. Shipyards. Arms. I'm trying to figure out what the best things for us to do at this point. I, I think we should probably focus on the upgrade of all the basic farming goods to get irrigation, which just requires a lot of engines. 
So when we see that we're building those new engine factories, we will then start switching on all the irrigation upgrades. They are very slowly taking over the map. At least when we get that upgrade, we can't do it in the middle of the war, but at least we can we know we can get an upgrade for automation uh, automobiles reconnaissance. Oh, I have way too much. Let's see if we can increase some of our Oh! Kill rate 5%! Nice! <laughs> we just got machine gunners. Is there a point in increasing colonization? We could colonize. Should we colonize something? I want to colonize something. So, um... Eventually, I'm pretty sure if we just let the game run, we should eventually get enough the clear interest to just make a new one. Ah! It just, went, it just came through! The clear interest over here. I'm gonna colonize this place. When it comes through. So colonization is pretty cool. Uh, depending on your population, which is what we should do, and also this one here, you get colonization growth generated based on a certain pop, uh, amount of population you have. So this institution actually just flat out increases the amount you get per population, so it makes it more efficient. So this would be four times what this one is. Uh, when we actually get the clan interest sorted out, we will- Oh! Feminism! Oh! No migration! <laughs> calm down, game. Calm down. No one wants it! Ah! Oh. Guys! Guys! How do I make this come through? <laughs> it has a- everyone hates it. We'll figure it out, it's don't worry. We'll find a way. We will find a way. Indonesian interest has been activated. So if I just go over here now and I just click on colonize, you can see that we have made a little entry point into this location. Now as my country is gargantuan, we colonize every 50 days. <laughs> Normally, it can take like 500 days or even longer sometimes, depends on your population. And you can colonize multiple regions at the same time, but it kind of splits it in half. So the more you colonize, the slower it becomes. Um, now, we need to build a port here, so it actually has access to my market. Let's just prioritize that. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Uh, let's just go down here then. How many buildings have I queued up? <laughs> Apparently, a lot. 15 weeks to make a... that's a big time. Yeah, so this place is going to be pretty cool, I think, because it actually allows us to get... Actually, I say that, it doesn't actually... Tea! We have no tea! Perfect. I was going to say, I, out of all the resources, I think we had them all, but we haven't got any tea. Or oil. But we don't know what oil is yet. We don't even know what oil is, really. We just know it comes from Wales at this point. It looks like the war's going very well for us, though. We are pushing in on um, Chile from the back. They're not even defending themselves because they're over here. Very nice. Not helpful at the moment, though, because we need to make sure we get the ex next upgrade. Because that synthesizes dyes. Now, if you were to be, say, living, uh, working in the European uh, European continent, you would actually not be able to make dyes. You actually have no capacity for it. So it's very interesting for the Europeans, but places like here, where we can just grow dyes, it's not really a big deal. Uh, mate, I can't let you leave this one. You have to go and take that over. I'm surprised this war is still going on, to be honest. What is this? The armed forces demand the promotion of Brigadier General uh, oh. Do you know what? He's earned it. He gets a promotion. The problem with this, by the way, is because you have two leaders in the same region, they will split their forces in half. So now you can see that I've actually increased the size of his army, but decreased the size of Francesco's. So, bit of a problem there, but not the end of the world. Okay, how's it going over here, guys? Are we still uh, colonizing? Yes, you can already see that we've actually gained quite a few bits of territory. And I cannot imagine my colonization speed when we get the increase in... So I'm currently generating clonal growth of 2.41 per day. Not per week, per day. And that is at the basic level of institution. Could you imagine? It would be four times faster. It would be insane. It's a shame that I can't get into um, Africa because they've gone around all the edges. But at least we can take over these places. 
Anyway, so this should probably kill Chili off in a second. What I can as well, we probably also want to increase the amounts of um, military units we have, I think, in this region. I want another 60. We need to ramp up, everybody. We didn't hit 20 million people living here, though. We've actually pretty much caught up to America, which is insane. Um, their GDP is going down because they're losing population, while mine is just... Wait, actually, wait a second. My GDP is way higher than theirs. Damn. Oh. Oh. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Okay, so how much this is going to cost me, by the way? Because I have no idea. Incorporate states. Do you know what? We still have stuff left over. It's fine. So this is actually really part of an existing state we already have. It's part of the Amazonian area. Uh, we've also got this new one here, which is going to take 21 years to sort out. And we've also unlocked... Oh, this region is already part of my... No, it's not. Sorry. Nine years left to go. I think this is part of a region that Bolivia owns. That's why we're already so far along here. And they're all naked for some reason. It's not a question that. Nice. We've also got this one as well. I'm going to... Oh, they've already got a port. Perfect. It's not a problem then. Let's not... Let's go through the buildings and we'll go this way because there's going to be a lot of new regions we've got to go through. So, construction and sectors. We have more of them now. Let's make them all into steel. A little bit more build speed. Food industries. None of those. Textile mills. Electric sewing and automated looms, please. As well as publicly traded. We'll leave the rest of it alone. Um, rotary valve, privately traded. That's fine. I just want to double check there's not like an inefficient luxury method we're dealing with here. That's fine as well. Oh, I would actually mean to go into that. Tool workshops. I don't want this to be too crazy efficient because we already have a lot of uh, population in these jobs anyway. Motor industry, shipyards, we probably should leave them be. Arm factories, they haven't got any. Okay. Urban centers, market stalls, unlit streets. Oh, we've got motor transports now. Let's go for the basic one, but if we want to in the future, we can change it so it um, reduces people even more. So this reduces this double the effects. So we lose another 40,000 workers on urban centers, which is crazy. Okay, that looks like the rest of it is A-OK. -okay. Let's go to Rural. Uh, simple Farming, no. We want to bring that up to Maximum. Vineyards. Probably Harvesting Tools. Done. Rice Farms, no need for Fig Orchards. That's worthless. I don't really... Is there a point? This is... A lot of these upgrades are just upgrades that reduce the workers. But I don't know if that's... Because we've got loads of unemployed peasants. Is that really the best idea? I don't think it is. Oop. That was clearly the wrong button. Something we can... Something, a priority we should also do as well is increasing the amount of dynamite production so we can get these iron and coal mines using them as well. Because it gives us 1,000 more coal, but it's going to cost loads more explosives. So we can't do it right now. that going. We put these back on basic for now because I don't want to over do what I'm doing. And I think we've pretty much sorted this out now. Chainsaws. Oh, hype. <laughs> we'll try and get that eventually. Done. All the buildings should now be... Oh, wait, I forgot about naval bases. We probably don't want them, to be fair. Let's drop out the ones that are in Santiago. Isa. Done. We're under... I think I've made a mistake somewhere. We'll redo the uh, military in a second, because I've got to try and fix that. Let's also implement motorized reconnaissance now. Do we want... I think we should probably get first aid at this point as well. We'll bring that in. 
Conscription we put down to negative because I don't actually want to use conscription ever. So, so apart from that, I think we are now happy and good to go. Oh, nice. Sorry to tactical sneeze quickly. Panama Canal. Let's have a look, shall we? Our survey of the Panama um, Canal has completed. We have confirmed that it would be possible to construct a canal linking the Atlantic to Pacific Oceans. We will build the canal. At any state, any state in Grand Columbia has building Panama Canal. Okay. Do I just build it then? Oh! What does this cost? 2,000. Estimated construction costs 1 million. 1 million. That's crazy. What does it do? 100 prestige. Uh, and it employs a bunch of random people. Allows passage between Western Caribbean Sea. Also, actually does open up a thing there, which is pretty cool. Let's go for it. We will build the Panama Canal. It's going to be truly glorious. Nice. So that's going to be happening now. Uh, let's try and do this again, I think. So. What are we doing at the moment? We're building coal mines. Did we build the... No, we haven't got around to that yet. So, I'm going to increase the size of my military again. If we go to military. Wrong one, sorry. This one. 50,000 men. It has to be in this region. So, I want it to be my main combat area. Uh, let's go to states. Nope, that's the wrong one, sorry. Strategic regions. Oh, this all counts as one. Perfect. So from here to here, we're good to go. Oh, that was a good start, wasn't it? That <laughs> just immediately ruined it. Uh, damn it, me. So that's 30, 40, 50. To be fair, we probably should... I believe it, it'd be fine. Do you know what? 110. And twenty. We'll go for that. That's gonna be a big military body, and it's probably gonna cost me a lot of money. And we're probably also gonna to need to increase the production of all our arms industries. Oh, actually, they're already on half capacity. Are they both on half capacity? Oh, <laughs> we've done it already. It's totally fine. I did notice that there were some glaring issues there, to be honest, though. Uh, we can't ignore those. Now, with our new land we're generating, let's put down a bunch of admin buildings for the future. We put down two squads of them. Also, I'm going to say we're going to have a lot of issues of various things at this point. So if we go to the market again, what is happening, game? Talk, talk to me. Wow, we are screwed <laughs> in a lot of opium. We got to import, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I don't think... Where does opium come from? I know it's going to be like this region somewhere. It pretty much just is this part of the world. So we can't deal with that right now. Okay, so we have some... Glaring issues, such as tools. Oh, wow. We just need so much stuff at this point in the game, everybody. It's absolutely insane. You just need, like, infinite stuff. I'm putting down loads of stuff, as you can tell at this point. We're doing a big increase in tools again. But I did a big increase in tools earlier, and it didn't help. <laughs> it's still cursed. It's uh, it's absolutely... Like, how much is this producing? A thousand tools. So we just increased it by three... Awesome. Excuse me? Well, that's not good. Well, everybody, apart from that, thank you for watching. This is going to be for today's episode. The world hasn't seemed to change too much. If you can see right here from the thing. Like, Prussia is actually losing, I think, territory. Most of the world's been quite static. Uh, apart from France and Russia just absolutely ravaging 
um, the lands there. We're probably going to need to go and do all this native uprising at the start of tomorrow's episode. But everybody, apart from that, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.